What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of my weekly Russell Wilson review, where I am bringing you a in-depth analysis of every single week of his season, no matter how good or bad it is. Today, we have the Broncos and Sean Payton's first home win of the season and the first home win of Sean Payton's coaching career for the Broncos. And, you know, it was a clean game from Russ. He took care of the football and he managed the offense. Now, to this point, that's all you can really ask of him. Whether you whether or not you think that warrants the contract, it's a pretty clear cut answer, but you can decide amongst yourselves. We haven't really gotten the rust that can take over a football game yet in his Broncos career, but the best version of rust so far is the version that takes care of the football and makes the plays that are on the field. So first play here, they're in shotgun. Defense is showing them too high. Russ is going to read this and post snap. These safeties are actually going to rotate. So this safety is going to come down and he's going to play the middle of the field. And this safety is going to va or to replace where that safety vacated. And he's going to have the deep coverage of the field. Russ reads this post snap and he knows that he has his guy on a go route to the outside. And he's just going to give his guy a chance because by the time that safety gets over there, he's late no matter what. So I'll let it play. Show you guys. Russ gets to the top of his drop. You can see him reading the safety rotation. Boom. He knows he's got his guy. Russ, I mean, Sutton beats his guy off the snap, makes himself available to the quarterback. And Sutton has been playing so well lately. I just, it's so happy to see for a player that has gone through so much ups and downs in his career to play good and what is paramount for him with all these rumors circling around. It's just amazing to see. And I cannot be happier for him. Just puts this in place where only Sutton can get it. Sutton lays out for it. Big third down conversion on the first third down of the game. So this is the first third down in the red zone for the Broncos. And this really should have been a touchdown. There's no excuses for this one here. At face value, it looks like a play where Russ had nobody open and he tried to find somebody and couldn't. So he just threw it out because the pocket collapsed. But in reality, he has Judy coming up on this choice route, and he's just going to work that defender's leverage and work that choice route, and he's wide open, and he jogs into the end zone if Russ reads this thing out. And it's just so frustrating to see because this is where the ball is supposed to go. Pre-snap, post-snap, even more where the ball is supposed to go. I mean, look at all that space in the middle of the field. Look at the leverage that the defender is giving up. He's giving Judy the inside. Judy gets inside, and Russ is running from pressure that isn't there. Just step up. Just step up. Find your guy. Get a tutty. That's the name of the game here. You did not have to sail back like that, and I'll show you guys the end zone angle to show this is an NFL pocket that you need to step up in. You cannot do what Russ did here. Top of his drop. This is an NFL pocket through and through. There's no excuses here. You hang in there, and when those edges start to really dent the offensive line, you step up in all this space right here. Step up and find your guy who is running naked in the middle of the field. Look at all that space. That's where the ball is supposed to go. It doesn't. It's a throwaway, waste of possession. Offense has to take three when they really should have had six. So I actually like Russ's read on this play. The call is going to just be four verts. Everybody's going to go vertical. Nothing special about it at all. But what you're going to see is you're going to see Troutman right here is going to have outside leverage from the defensive back. And he's going to break his seam to the inside and start running that seam. In this middle of the field safety, he doesn't diagnose it fast enough to get over. So there's a window where Russ can throw the ball and he reads it. He sees that. He wants to get the ball there. He throws it. But it ends up being a bad pass. And, you know, I can live with this because A, it wasn't an interception. And B, 
He's reading things out and getting to the optimal read on the play. So I'm not really going to knock him too much for this because I like to see process over results. But this is still a pass you got to hit. Perfect pocket. You just got to zip that in there. Safety's going to come make a play on that. But what? that's why these guys wear pads. That's why they get paid all this money. Put it on the money and he'll survive that hit. Big play for the offense. That's what should have happened here. But again, process over results. I am happy with Russ reading that one out. There is not going to be a pass in a Denver Broncos uniform easier than this one for Russell Wilson. I mean, this is highlighting Judy more than it is highlighting Russ. But nonetheless, Russ does a good job of getting the ball to a guy who is wide open and he's wide open because Judy is just so good at making himself available and winning with his route running. It's just going to be a deep route, a deep out, I'm sorry. And in the playbook, it probably just looks something like this. Nice, bland, static out route. But with Judy, that ain't going to be what it looks like. And this is where a lot of people like to think that he freelances his routes and gets too creative and flashy and it's unnecessary. But it's not unnecessary. He adds all of these subtleties into his route running for just to make one more thing that the defensive back has to prepare for. You'll see him plant twice before getting to this out route. So boom, he gives him a, a step inside, makes him think he's going to go outside, head fake to the inside. Then he steps back out, fakes like he's running vertical, puts his head down, just runs a straight line as much as he can. Then boom, break out. Judy, it does not get easier than this for a quarterback. And that is just so important for a receiver to make yourself available and make yourself open for a quarterback. Now to the naked eye, this probably looks like just a good man coverage beating route in the red zone for a nice easy touchdown toss. And it is, but... I want to break it down because this is something that is just so subtle in the play calling process and in the scouting process that it goes unnoticed on broadcast. So they're in the high red zone. They're going to be in a bunch set and the Packers, the way the Packers play their bunch sets. And this is something that they saw on film before they installed this play and they're calling it on a third down. Got to have it situation in the red zone again. Sean Payton saw how these Packers defenders play these bunch sets in man coverage and installed this play. So you're going to have the point man who is going to be locked on with the point man. No matter what, press release, locked on with the point man. Now, the Packers have their defensive backs set at different ang set at different depths so that there isn't a pick play that can manipulate them. That's why teams play bunch sets at different depths with their cornerbacks. But the Packers don't play it as like a banjo or a top hat or a lip bunch check. They're going to have the point man press and they're just going to have whoever's in front of you. You've got that man in man coverage. Now, again, Sean Payton saw this, took advantage of it and created an easy pass for his quarterback. Both. The point man and the outside receiver are going to just run up and basically act like a shield for Sutton, who's just going to run a wheel route right under him. But again, if the Packers had played their bunch set man coverages like any other way than the way they did here, this play does not work. So Sean Payton saw that in the scouting process, banked on them staying true to that, and called up a perfect play for it. You see that guy can't get through the traffic. And it's just as easy a throw as you're going to get. 